This video is an introduction to Google Analytics as integrated into the Strother Web Solutions website dashboard. Google Analytics is a tool to tell you what's going on with your website traffic wise. If you owned a brick and mortar store and somebody walked in through the front door you'd be able to count them and at the end of the day you'd know that maybe you had three or four hundred people walk into your store. Google Analytics provides you the same information for your website. To get to Google Analytics, log in to your Struther Web Solutions website dashboard and click on the Google Analytics icon. This takes a moment to load. It's pulling data from Google Analytics and the data is displayed in several ways on your screen. We're going to walk through them. As you hover over each area, you'll see a little pop-up that shows up for you and this also gives you some information about those different data segments. At the top of the screen, you'll see where you can change the date period that you want to look at and whether you want to group it by day, week, or month. So we're just going to take a quick look at the traffic on this particular website from September 27th through October 4th. It's about a one week period. We're going to update that after we change the dates. The first segment that shows on your screen is the number of visitors to your website. You see we've got a one week period that we talked about from September 27th through October 4th and on uh, let's say September 28th it looks like we had almost 40 visitors on September 29th 50. Uh, peak traffic during that week was on October 1st a Saturday at 70 visitors and the peak traffic on October 4th uh, which uh, for reference that would be yesterday when this video was recorded on Oct October 5th so on October 4th um, you can see that we had uh, close to 60 visitors. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that data reported in the Google Analytics interface is about 24 hours behind so we're viewing this on October 5th 2011 but the traffic we're seeing is all from October 4th. If we come back tomorrow we'll be able to see today's traffic. If we scroll down a little bit we get some more information. Uh, the pie chart on the left shows our traffic based on where they came from. 69% of the traffic on this website came from a search engine such as Google or Bing. 26% of the traffic was direct traffic which means that a user entered the domain right into their browser and came straight to it. And 5% of the traffic was referral traffic which means that the visitor came from a link on another website. Next to that we see the global stats. Remember the data you're looking at is for a uh, about a one week period from September 27th to October 4th and during that period this website had 427 visits. 286 of those were unique visitors. What that means is the difference is people who came to the website more than once in the same day. So if they came more than once in a 24 hour period they're not counted the second time. So they had 286 unique visitors, 427 um, repeat visitors. Those 427 visitors looked at 1,568 pages. The average visitor looked at 3.7 pages. The average time on the website was 122 seconds. And 51% of the visitors were first time visitors during this period. The bounce rate, 39.8%, is a very good bounce rate for any website. Your goal is to have a 50% bounce rate. When you have a, a nearly a 40% bounce rate, this is pretty exceptional. What bounce rate means to you is did the customer look at more than one page? Uh, most customers, or most visitors, I should say, will look at your home page. They'll go to your website, and of course, they'll land on your home page. If someone goes to your website, lands on your home page, and then leaves, they bounced. And so that one visitor would be a 100% bounce rate. If the next person comes to your website, lands on your home page, and then goes to your Contact Us page, they did not bounce. And so now you've had two visitors, one bounced, one did not, so you'd have a 50% bounce rate. Uh, when you have a 40% bounce rate like this website does, you are doing very well. Pages on your website that are viewed the most. Uh, this shows you pages and gives you uh, information about what people are looking at on your website. 
this top one is usually going to be the most viewed. It's just got a single slash there, and that tells you that's the home page. There were 522 views of that home page. 33% of the people who came to the website viewed that home page. And the average person stayed on that, web, on that page for about 30 seconds. These times in average time on page are in seconds. Uh, this shows you that they went to the there's a birthday parties page there's a current hours page and show, shows these pages listed in the order in which they were most popular most popular at the top least popular at the bottom um, so for instance the snow days page had 21 visitors 1.3 percent uh, of the visitors looked at that page and the average person stayed on that page for just a little over a full minute remember that's the average person stayed on that page. You may have people that stayed there for three or four minutes and other people who stayed there for 15 seconds. Uh, the websites that send you the most traffic, that this content at the bottom is directly related to the pie chart that's a little further up here. It just breaks it down in more detail. So the number one source of traffic for this website is Google. During this seven day period that we're reviewing, 249 of the page views came from traffic that originated on Google. Direct, remember I told you direct is where the domain name is entered directly into a browser uh, off of an advertisement, a radio ad, uh, common knowledge or business card or anything like that. If I enter your domain directly into my browser and it takes me to your website, that's direct traffic. Uh, other search engines such as Bing and Yahoo uh, Google.com, if you look over here, it gives you a little more information, tells you it's from his Google Places listing. Google Places is a free listing uh, to help uh, publicize your website on Google. Uh, we've got some more information about that on our blog, or if you need help setting up a Google Places listing, just send an email to helpdesk at strutherweb.com. We'll be happy to help you with that. We don't even charge for it. Uh, traffic from AOL, Kansas City Search, maps.google.com. Um, and then some. The, here's where the referrals came from. If you look up here, you'll see that 5% of his traffic, or 23 hits, came from referral traffic. One of those referral sources is ActivityTree.com. There's obviously a reference to this customer on ActivityTree.com. KCKidsFun.com, uh, Local.com. These are all referral sites, and that's where those 23 hits came from. This is the basic introduction to Google Analytics from the uh, Struther Web Solutions website dashboard. For more in-depth information, please take a look at our blog and read the tutorials in the knowledge base. You can get to the knowledge base by clicking on self-help and you can get to our blog by clicking on SWS blog.